Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon. It is October the 26th. It is the night after Israel has struck Iran and their, according to their response, their retaliation for October the 1st, where Iran uh, was retaliating for the death of senior leaders there. Uh, and, I, and I would imagine Iran was retaliating for more than just one, uh, going back all the way to General uh, uh, Soleimani. Uh, no doubt, trying to get their punch in uh, at that time there, striking a, a heavy blow on Israel's military infrastructure, taking out a number of the very famous uh, uh, F-35s here that you see here on your screen that Israel used in its uh, attack on Iran. Oddly enough, though, as much as Netanyahu has boasted about, we're going to take out Iran's nuclear facilities and all that kind of stuff that we hear, they did not target nuclear facilities. They did not target uh, the oil infrastructure. And that's really a kind of a good thing because Iran has vowed to strike back tit for tat when it comes to that issue there. You strike our nuclear facilities, we'll strike yours. You strike our uh, oil infrastructure, we'll strike yours. And Israel cannot afford to have that happen. And they know that Iran has that capability to do so, and they wouldn't be able to stop it if they wanted to. So Sputnik has uh, kind of did a pretty good job on covering everything that happened here where Iran sent in over 200 ballistic missiles on October the 1st. Uh, but Israel did three waves of precise strikes last night uh, in, uh, inside of Iran, uh, even targeting inside of the uh, uh, Tehran's uh, main capital city there, claiming to be striking uh, nuclear, excuse me, not nuclear, but uh, uh, arms depots. They really went after the infrastructure of, uh, of, of Iran's uh, capabilities to manufacture these missiles and things of that nature there. Uh, just kind of give you an eye, a bird's eye view there. This is one such place here. One of the first confirmed Israeli targets, Iran's new solid propellant rocket uh, motor plant in Parchin. Uh, was which was inaugurated on uh, on the in 2021. That facility there was <clears throat> pretty much just leveled here, as you can see, and uh, I think that's the same place. Maybe not three logistic centers uh, southwest of Tehran, four unknown SAM systems of the of the RIIADF, uh, and that's from the Kurdish news uh, there that they're showing there, and uh, but. It, let me just see there. I, I, like I said, I don't even know if it's the same facility there. Kind of looks similar similar to that. <clears throat> um, but anyway, there that was one of the places they targeted. Iran's going to probably have to just end up putting all their manufacturing facilities underground if they expect to keep them safe, uh, quite frankly. Uh, this is uh, one such video footage that we got coming out of uh, the Middle East there that Israel did a strike at. Uh, we're just not seeing many videos as of now. I'm sure Iran, they're a very closed community uh, to begin with, so I highly doubt they're going to really allow very much footage coming out of the country there. And I, I am starting to see more and more, which is something that I know as well, of um, uh, we're starting to see more and more uh, pictures and videos coming out of the Middle East there of uh, Iranians that are supporting uh, the strike that is being done on um, on Iran. Uh, and this is something that a friend of mine that uh, uh, is Iranian, who has given me a lot of great intel, has said that they would support America or Israel, either one, to attack the country. They want the country liberated from the, uh, from the Khomeini and that strict regime. They're used to what Iran used to be back in the 70s. And a lot of these people lived back then. A lot of the people that I know lived back then in that time period. And they remember that great prosperity. Uh, and they want to go back to those days. But then again, <clears throat> I know how Israel is. Israel has a different plan for doing this, a different reason behind that. And they're trying to make it look like Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. And, of course, there are prophecies that are being fulfilled. Um, and we're going to be getting into that later. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that on Patreon. I am doing the part two of Planet X on Patreon today. I will be doing that uh, later this evening, part two, Planet X. Uh, this one will be uh, dealing with the earthquakes 
uh, volcano activities that, that we can expect from different sources out there. Uh, that's on our Patreon channel. We're kind of doing an exclusive on those different effects that are happening there. Also got another interesting broadcast I'll be doing on Patreon too coming up in the very, very, very soon future. I actually met uh, just recently a friend of mine. I uh, can't really say who he is, can't identify him or anything, but uh, uh, I'm going to do a special broadcast about this uh, whole debacle that happened along, uh, it included several power companies here uh, in the southeast region, uh, Gulf Power, Georgia Power, Alabama Power. But he specifically gave me some amazing information about Mena, Arkansas, because he actually flew in there uh, to help move a plane one time. Had no clue of what was going on. He was just asked to uh, move in a plane. And so I thought that was fascinating to get to learn that information there. Just just collaborated so much information that I've always known as well. So I'm going to be doing some very interesting broadcasts coming up over the next week or so here on patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. So definitely check those things out uh, as we go along there. Uh, also, Israel strikes reaction. I want to play a little bit of the clip here from Al Jazeera here uh, on what happened there in Iran. Let's listen in. Violation of Iran's sovereignty and a clear breach of international law. The United Arab Emirates stressed the importance of exercising maximum... Now, let, let me clearly say when it comes to Qatar, Qatar knew about the strike in advance. They closed their airspace uh, much earlier in the day. They knew that this strike was coming. Uh, kind of makes you wonder with their close ties with Israel and the United States uh, about that issue there. But let's continue to listen maximum restraint to avoid an escalation. Saudi Arabia said it condemns and deplores the Israeli strikes, which it called a violation of Iran's sovereignty. Iraq said Israel's policies are aggressive and it criticized the blatant attacks that it carries out with impunity. The governments of Oman and Syria have also spoken out against the strikes. Elijah Magnez, a military and... <coughs> One thing, let me say, though, in light of all of this, you know, I definitely understand why Iran struck at Israel uh, because of the blatant uh, killing of, of leaders uh, that were at the uh, presidential inauguration in Iran, uh, killing of uh, General Soleimani, uh, the, the killing of one of their uh, top uh, generals there right next to the uh, Iranian embassy in Syria. Israel is taking absolutely, they could, they could really care less about any diplomatic immunity and uh you know and, and see like even though netanyahu clearly has committed war crimes beyond anything you can imagine but not just netanyahu he's fueled by smotrich and ben gavir in his uh, cabinet there and gallant his uh, defense minister uh, they have committed the most atrocious violations of war crimes ever in the gaza strip and now in uh, lebanon beirut especially places like that um, and but yet at the same time although I may have that strong sharp criticism for the Israeli government still Netanyahu is the Prime Minister of Israel and uh, you know there you know and other countries have done a hands-off policy when it comes to him and I think that is rightfully so it should be the same way with any of the leaders there because they are the leaders of the country so there is some immunity at that time that once they're out of office that's a different story if they're going to if they want to do arrest warrants and they want to try to process that that's a totally different story and i get that that should be done uh, because it is these men that have made such horrendous decisions that have cost the lives of going it's, it's starting it's already topped in, uh, over a uh, uh, 50,000 in Gaza and if the true number be told probably a hundred thousand people that have been killed in that region there and there's only 20,000 Hamas military uh, fighters in all of Gaza but yet they have sacrificed the massive number of lives uh, of the of the Palestinian people and this is a sharp rebuke uh, it is a biblical rebuke. Uh, Moses clearly said when you go into the land not to oppress your neighbors. You were oppressed. And sadly enough, now that's, that's from the Egyptian days, right? But Israel, I have 
extended family members that were in the Holocaust, in Auschwitz, in Dukau. I, I can say this from that perspective. I know that. And, uh, and, and to think that the memory and the legacy of the families that suffered and died in the Holocaust, and then the nation of Israel is created, and you go there knowing that you were oppressed the way you were by the Germans, and you go there, you create a state, and then you turn around and do the exact same thing to your own neighbors the Palestinians, who actually are far, half of them are crypto Jews in the first place, and you oppress them as if they're dogs, worse than dogs. I mean, even my dog, I would never, who could even think to treat their pets the way that you treat uh, the, the Palestinian people? It is a crime against the God of Israel completely. You have totally shamed uh, the very uh, Bible that you stand for, the, the, the Tanakh, has become a total shame. And for those Christian Zionists that support what Israel is doing right now, it is a shame on you even more so because you know that Jesus Christ gave his life. When we look at uh, the, the passages so often quoted, and I'll pull that passage up for you while we're just, uh, as, as, as I'm sitting here thinking about this, Genesis 12, 12, you know, uh, and, and this is uh, speaking, and I will bless them that bless you. Okay, not Israel, you, and I will curse, uh, curse uh, you. Well, excuse, me, and, and that, and and those that curseth you, I will curse, and and in you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Why? Because God had promised him a child; He had given him a promised seed. That promised seed, by the way, was the seed of the woman in Genesis. That seed was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only one that was able to fulfill that in such a way that all the families of the earth would be blessed. And to sit there and watch Israel bomb Tyre of all places in Lebanon, you want to go and bomb Tyre? Jesus met the little Canaanite woman, a Canaanite. And she comes to him and she pleads with him, Thou son of David. Do you know why she called him son of David? And he was the son of David. But do you know why she pleaded to him as son of David? Because the king of Tyre was, had a very close connection to King David and to King Solomon as well. So she pleaded with him from her heart, from the mercies that the king of Tyre had shown, her people had shown to the children of Israel. And then you totally negate what Jesus Christ has done as Christians and you as Jews, uh, Israelis today. I believe that Israel has a right to exist. I do believe they have a right to exist. But it should be done with a de democracy in this region. The Palestinians should not be in open air prisons. They should be free as free men and women to come and go, to be able to, to have commerce with other countries and things of that nature there with independence, not to be locked inside of a cage. Did you forget what our forefathers went through during the Holocaust? And you've got Holocaust victims that are angry with you because you compare the Holocaust to the sufferings of Israel. Let's face it, you know, the judgment begins in the house of God. And the problem is, is the judgment has not been spoken about what you have done. You know, Hamas could have never gained access to Israel. You had the prison too well secure. But if you decide to let the, take the guards away, if you decide to open up a breach, if you decide to disarm all the communities around just weeks before, so that if they are attacked, they have no way to defend themselves. They're just sitting ducks. Knowing that Hamas, that the Palestinians, that they're, you know, and by the way, Hamas, it's an organization that Israel created. It's an organization that Netanyahu in 2018 at the Knesset funded made sure Qatar continues to pour in the millions and billions of dollars into the Gaza Strip. You knew what they were doing it for. 
Qatar, if you really wanted to do something for the Palestinian people, you should have went and gone in there and to help and, and, and negotiated with Israel and said, look, you're going to have to back off. Let these people have some freedom in here. Let them be able to live as human beings. And we will help build their infrastructure. The money that you sent in in cash into, into the Gaza Strip could have very well made an amazing Gaza Strip for the Palestinian people and given them freedoms. But no, you didn't do that. You know, what I'm sick of is looking at people like Netanyahu and, and, and Smotrich and Ben Gavir and, and, and Gallant and all the rabbis and all the Zionists that you basically are spitting on the word of God. That's what you're doing. And Christians above all failing to realize that that cursing and blessing was extended only to the seed of Abraham, and that seed was Jesus Christ. So when you sit there and you try to use, well, God told Israel to go into the land and kill all the inhabitants, spare not woman, children, or anything. He was dealing with Nephilim in those days. He was dealing with giants, some kind of strange demonic entity that was still in the land. They came back when the ten spies came back and they, they said that they, that, you know, they, they, we were like grasshoppers next to them. One of their kids would have probably been six, six feet tall. A kid. Because mama and daddy was probably 12 foot tall. You totally don't understand when Jesus Christ came on the scene, his blood paved the way for all the families of the earth to be blessed. All Abraham did is he, he, his faith was believing in that promise. How can you sit there and condone the mass slaughter of the Arabic peoples, the Christian peoples in those regions? How many of you that visit Israel ever bothered to even go see the Christians in Palestine? That you ever visited one of them, ever went down to Bethlehem. To my own shame, as much time as I spent there, I was too caught up into Zionism at the time. I began to see little bits and pieces, something's wrong. When I went through a suicide bomb, bombing in 2004, you, it's right there on my YouTube channel. All you got to do, when you click on YouTube and you go to Israeli News Live, right? When you go to our channel right there, and you, you're right there on the channel, that picture, sorry, that picture right there at the top, that's the suicide bombing on 2000, in 2004 that I was in. 16-year-old girl, or eight, I'm sorry, 18-year-old girl, blew herself up. She killed two security officers there. Very hot spot there. I lived right close by. I was not completely off my feet from the blast. I know what it's like. I know what you, you live under, but you fail to realize you have created it with this hatred and this suppression of the people. It's time to take accountability. This is the reason why the gospel of Jesus Christ needs to be shared with the Jewish people, not sit there and suck up and say, oh, we got something to learn from the rabbis when Jesus said to you that they were blind. And he also said to you, if the blind lead the blind. Think about Laodicea, right? Laodicea of Revelation, your own Bible, the Christian Bible, clearly John prophesied you would be blind, miserable, wretched, wretched naked, and don't even know it. At least Adam and Eve, they woke up and realized they were naked. But the Christian church of today, they're blind, wretched, miserable, and they're naked, and they don't even know they're naked. By the way, that's not this. You don't even know. You're the ones that are supposed to know but you failed to know it. Uh, I don't know what to say, guys. I, I'm, I'm blown away. Listen, I, I do want to encourage you, though. Those of you, and, and just in closing here, LifeWave, there's a lot of people who have mixed opinions about LifeWave, but I want to tell you something. David Schmidt, the man that, that made this company, um, you owe it to yourself 
And I'm not saying you have to do this as a business. You can choose that for your own self. You want to start it as a business. But I want to say to you, if you started this before, in the beginning, we first shared this, and you felt like, well, I didn't get any results. I, I tried it for about a month, didn't have any results, two months didn't have any results. I have seen the testimonies blown off the charts. Most of those amazing testimonies are minimum four or five months down the road. In my case, eight months down the road. Many others are eight, nine months down the road. You should dedicate a year. That's why when you become a preferred customer, when you shop, you become a preferred customer on LifeWave. And I'm sorry, I get all this junk stuff that pops up here. So my apologies to that. But when you shop in here, you know, and you choose your product, X39 is the main thing. All right. Look, if you're doing a product, do X39 is the most important thing. If you're dealing with other issues, if you got a loved one with dementia or something like that, send us an email, benoonx39 at gmail.com. I'll put that in the description below for you. But uh, we'll help answer your questions. But the main thing you need is X39. It retails for $149.95, but if you'll notice, $99.95, you can get the product. This, what it does, X39 in short, it's going to stimulate your copper peptides in your body. All right, copper peptides in your body get stimulated, the GHKCU, and that in turn activates your baby stem cells. It's systemically through your entire body. So, it goes to work everywhere. It's not like when you go and you get uh, you do a ten thousand dollar procedure because you want stem cells for your lower back. Which, by the way, I don't suffer nowhere near the pain I used to have. I have almost all the feeling back in my left leg. Not completely, not completely, but almost. I can run up and down a set of stairs instead of holding on for dear life, thinking I'm going to fall. Ron Gunter, my good friend, Ron Gunter. Congestive heart failure, stage four kidney failure, all gone. He had his, he had his, um, I, I hear, I've heard so many testimonies of people, people that stuck with it. Now, that's what it takes now. You got to stick with it. If you're not sticking with it, that's where the problem is. But thyroid, unbelievable. One after another, after another, after another, I'm hearing the stories of thyroids. Just go to our YouTube page, Benunex 39 YouTube. You can see some amazing testimonies, and I've probably got another hundred we need to share. In fact, Sunday, this Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern, x39hubhub.com, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're doing a live Zoom. You're invited. We have room for plenty of people. If you want to learn about it, we talk about the products. We talk about the business side of this as well. But anyway, preferred customer, $99.95 a month. You know, look, you got a year of that. And that's like 1200 bucks for a year. And you're going to change your life. It's going to help you in ways you could just never imagine. And look, you know, you know, Steve, Brother Steve never has supported products. EMP Shield, I believe in it. We did that wonderful video about the company. Uh, it now works even against solar flares coming off of the sun. Uh, you, those are it's, it's the most amazing surge protection device I've ever seen in my life. They've got a money back guarantee. Uh, you know, if, if you're if it gets blown, let's say it protects your house from a lightning strike. Guess what? They're going to also send you a brand new one for free. You just pay the shipping cost. That's with them. Lifeway, you get a money back guarantee with this as well. If you are a customer like this, just a retail customer, you get a 90 day back money back guarantee. How can you go wrong? One treatment of stem cells is going to be about 10 grand. If you go and spin your blood down and get the stem cell treatment that way, I've had that done too, by the way. Uh, for my, for me, it was not very effective. My wife, it did help her. That's three grand. And this is a third of that price. And it's going to do the entire body, right? And the other thing, let me quickly share with you as well. Let's say, uh, so you want to do that. Let's say, though, you decide, all right, no, uh, uh, Steve, I have a feeling I'm going to share this because if I get, you know, I've been wanting to start a little small business of some sort, then join. Join. Just join. Listen. And by the way, they give you those four options when you go to join. You click on join now. I'm going to put my link in there to where you can do that. They give you four options. Core, the starter kit does it. That just puts you in the system. 
just ignore that when they got they changed the system over they've increased the compensation plan um, but it's amazing you want to go at least core I would say go to advanced all right just go ahead and go to advanced that's my personal preference there because you're gonna earn four different ways by the way the premium is excellent if you happen to be a doctor uh, you're and we got four doctors right now that are doing this pro that are sharing this product with their patients one doctor, I won't call her name here, uh, she is a function medicine practitioner, she's also a chiropractor, and she shares it with her patients. She began in the very beginning. 50 of her patients are using X39. Now they've had the six month blood work done. Now, practitioners do some amazing things with their patients anyway, the function medicine people. Yana is actually becoming one, she'll be one right here by the first of the year. So if you want to get a functional medicine practitioner she'll be the lady that can really help you and she's brilliant as it is right now but this doctor that's in with us she told my wife she said the people that started it I saw significant improvements in all their blood work compared to those that did not use X39 so she's really even pushing it more with her patients she doesn't participate in direct sales and so that's strictly up to you. That's why I say the company pays four different ways. So when people say, I don't get into directs, I don't like that. That's like a pyramid. No, you don't have to do that. You can do like these doctors that are doing as well. Some of them, though, like, and I will call Dr. Tesla. Dr. Tesla is a veterinarian, 40-year veterinarian, amazing scientist on top of it. Uh, he not only uses the product, recommends it, he says it's better than anything he's ever seen. Uh, we have Jolene that just came in. Uh, she's doing it as a business now. She's a doctor of biology. She said, hands down, she used photo uh, biomodulation phototherapy in the lab. And she said, this man has invented something far superior to anything you can get in the, in, in the medical community today. Anyway, let's say, though, you decide to join at that level that I just showed you there. That's the... Um, Again, I'll back up so we can see that kit again. I think, personally, the advanced kit is the smart idea. 535. Minimum, go 295. All right, you're going to get the product. That, By the way, that's not a monthly fee. That's one time only. And then you own a business where you can start earning income. And we've got a lot of people earning income now. Uh, people that joined up with us a year ago, you know, not everybody does because it depends on whether or not you're willing to share it with people. So you got if you're going to start a business, you got to treat it like a business. Uh, even on this trip that we were just on, we had probably, I would say, we, we shared it with another six people. And every one of them want to do it. They wanted, some of them want to do it as a product. Some of them want to do it as a business. All right, so you go to that, you go to that advanced. Like I said, I think that's the smart way to do when they show you, they give you six patches, six packs of X39. It's like six months worth. But to be in business, you've got to have at least one product on auto ship. Most people do X39, but you've got to have one on auto ship. Now, you could choose to exit out of that six and go over here and choose what you want for your patches. Definitely, though, you want the X39. So you, I would add at least one for yourself, one for your wife, and maybe you do have a parent that's got they're suffering with some illnesses there, let's say like dementia, and you want to try that for them. Uh, if they're suffering with that issue there, I would take, though, and I would also add X49 uh, and a carnosine patch. Carnosine is half that price, um, and it only has to be worn. If you got that kind of an issue, my wife said about five days a week, but David Schmidt recommends three days a week every other day. Um, and stay well hydrated. We'll talk about that Sunday when you come on. We'll, we go into that. Uh, there's and, and also, that patch helps those people that are having eye issues. We've had three testimonies of cataracts that have fell out of people or, or just, dis however you call it, fell out, disappeared uh, from using these products. So there's all kinds of things you could do, right? Uh, glutathione and SP6 two other amazing patches and i'm not saying you have to do it this way if you want all x39 hey go for it go for it 
but the glutathione, and every one of these are non-transdermal. doesn't matter what your medications are. They're not going to affect you. They don't put nothing in your body. It's like walking outside, getting the sunlight and the sun hitting your body and causing your body to make vitamin D. That's exactly what it is, right? So uh, just wanted to let you know that we still didn't fill the card up. I put all these patches in there. So let's go ahead and go back and go with another X39. Oh, it's red, so that's one too many. So once you, if you do see red, you did one too many. So uh, I'll jump up here and take out one of those X39s. Go back to, whoop, I'm sorry if you do that one that way. That'll really mess you up. Go back to the X39, and I'm just going to do <clears throat> three of those instead. All right, now, uh, it looks like I have to do a cheaper patch in that case. I'll do an ice wave. A lot of people have pain. Gives you a full cart. You continue, and the rest will be history. And we'll help you. We'll help you with it as a business. If you're wanting to share it with your family and friends, uh, you know, you can work with us. I'll also put our phone number that we use for this business. You text us. We can set up a meeting and talk with you and share more about this amazing product. Uh, but you owe it to yourself, I'm telling you. All these amazing testimonies just didn't, they didn't happen overnight. Some people are one patch wonders, but that's extremely rare. I'm saying to people now, from what I've experienced over this last year, dedicate a year. Dedicate a year. And if you were on it before, I encourage you, go back, reactivate. You're still in the system, reactivate. Uh, if you were just a customer, go back in there, get on auto ship, do this for a year. You owe it to yourself uh, or at least do it as a brand partner because, hey, what if you do share it with four people and you make enough money to actually pay for your patches? Anyway, Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Love you guys as always. God bless you.